What's up guys? Got a reminder yesterday from my car that I obviously haven't spent enough money on it. Got to check engine light on the way home yesterday. We're gonna find out what that is. I've gotten a lot of questions about which scanner I use. This is the Autel AutoLink AL319. Ordered off of Amazon, about 35, 40 bucks. Um, this is all I've been using, guys. Uh, it gives you the codes. You're able to reset the uh, check engine light, any other false codes or anything, delete them with this scanner. And uh, I recommend it. Let's find out what's wrong with this thing. Check engine light came on yesterday when I was heading home from work. Uh, I just stayed on. Haven't seen that light in a while, so I'm gonna hook up the scanner and figure out what's wrong. All right. Okay, so P2187 is what we're gonna look up. Again, guys, with this scanner, we can erase the codes. It'll even give you live data of your car as well. Um, we're not gonna erase it yet. We need to figure out why uh, this popped up, so. Car's running rough. So I'm not sure if you heard that from the exhaust, but it, it's definitely, it's, it's running rough. So let's find out what's going on. Okay, so it's day two. I did some research on the error code and basically it could be a lot of things. But for the most part, we're gonna start with the coil packs and spark plugs. We're gonna start there and see if that fixes the problem. Not knowing exactly what's causing it, that's a good place to start basically and we'll see if that problem goes away. I'll show you what it looks like. So apparently running too lean could mean several things. And for the most part, we know it's not the fuel injectors. So here's where we're gonna start. It could just be a bad coil pack. So I'm gonna order a new set of those and new spark plugs. I believe those are three years old. We're gonna start there. Those are pretty inexpensive. That is just a good starting place for right now. Now, if that doesn't fix it, we'll move on to either the high pressure fuel pump or an intake manifold, and it wouldn't hurt to replace these anyway. From there, if that doesn't help, um, We'll check the high pressure fuel pump. We'll also check the mass airflow sensor. That could also cause it. Uh, we could also check, um, I think the last thing to check would really be the fuel pump and the O2 sensors. And that's kind of in the more expensive range as far as repairs go. And I'm gonna try to hope it's not one of those things. <clears throat> New coils and plugs, that's about a hundred bucks. And uh, I'm gonna be using a new website. I know I usually plug ECS tuning, but I've been using this place called FCP. Um, it's a good place to get your parts and they got lifetime warranty on every part. And that's lifetime on every single part. So yeah, guys, unfortunately it will be down for a while, but we still got the BMW running. And I have decided on a color scheme for the new wrap for this car. I've changed my mind about hundred times and I think I changed them once again after last week so we're ready to go I might even start this weekend on wrapping yeah it'll be looking different soon all right guys so basically um, I'm gonna order new coil packs and uh, new spark plugs to start off with um, just a good place to start off uh, replacing first and uh, we'll go from there so that's pretty much the game plan right now 
Uh, sucks, but uh, we've got plenty of other stuff we can do until the parts come in. Also guys, if you have stopped by the merch website, uh, you'd see that it is under maintenance. I'm actually uh, putting some new stuff in the next uh, week, dropping some more stuff. I have actually some more merch that I want to put out. So um, I'm getting that situated this week and then by the next video we'll be dropping the new stuff. I uh, appreciate all the new subs. The race to 500 subs before the end of the new year is getting closer and closer. I think right now I'm at like 355, which is just amazing. So again, guys, sucks. The Jetta is down. I'm gonna order some parts and we'll get it fixed up. That's pretty much all we got going for today. Got more plans for the BMW, a new wrap that we'll be working on. I haven't done a wrap in a while on a car, so I need to kind of practice anyway. Also, before I go, I kind of want to do kind of like a fan appreciation. I do talk to everybody that messages me on Instagram and um, a lot of people, they send me pictures of their cars and they send me pictures of their projects and I've gotten a lot of good ones. Uh, this one kind of stuck out to me because it's, it's a Jetta that's kind of been done kind of differently than I've seen. So I believe he's out of Austin. We were talking back and forth about me going out there and doing a wrap on his Jetta. Unfortunately, a full wrap would take about a week's time. So, uh, real cool dude. He sent me some pictures of his car. It's a real sharp looking Jetta. And uh, just wanted to give a shout out to him. And uh, I appreciate him watching, appreciate him subscribing. Just like everybody else, if you've got pictures you wanna show me, I'm always usually uh, quick to respond. And uh, yeah, shoot me pictures of your cars. and. Uh, I'll put them on the videos. I might do a fan appreciation day kind of like once a month and the winner can get maybe some discount codes on merch or something. All right guys, that's it. As always, give this video a like and subscribe for more content.